So what we've seen is an increase in the conduct we associate with good citizenship, behaving responsibly, treating others with respect. And with that, a reduction in antisocial behaviour. Both unauthorised absences and exclusions are down. Well, it's very impressive, I must say, Mr Lowesley, an excellent initiative introduced by a very innovative young teacher. <laughs> But unfortunately, we have some other issues on the agenda which are not a cause for celebration. Ah, excellent timing, Ms. Wilkes. We're just about to move on to the next item on the agenda. I didn't know there were any other items on the agenda. Nor did I, Mrs. Milgrew, until this morning when I was inundated with calls from irate parents, the ones who had received letters from you, informing them that their daughters had been photographed inappropriately. An issue I am dealing with. <laughs> I may well have been inclined to believe you had it in hand had I not also had a call from social services expressing some concerns about an issue of child protection. I was extremely alarmed to discover from Mr Bain that Darren had been taking photographs of a sexual nature. Something you had admitted to mention at our meeting. Yeah, that's probably my fault. Then again, had you attended the meeting in its entirety, perhaps it would have been covered. You were too busy to give this case the time of day. Isn't it strange you suddenly have a window in your schedule? We're not talking about a case, we're talking about a child, Mrs Mulgrew. Fine. Maybe I should have informed social services about the photographs and the board about Darren's situation, but I have been responding to events as they happen. Parents are not confident in your handling of the situation, and neither are social services, and frankly, neither am I. I'm not sure that's fair, Mr Bain. Well, I think it is, Mr Lowesley. Mr Lowesley, Mr Bain, is that what you call each other at Sunday lunch? I'm not sure what you're trying to insinuate, Christine, but perhaps we can try and focus if you can. This is a potential PR disaster. I might have known that would bother you. Well, someone's got to care about the school's reputation. Now, this is entirely typical of an LA who offers no support, a bare minimum of funding, but yet is first in line to criticise our every mistake. Simply not the case, Christine. Your selective memory is unbelievable. Well, and yours isn't. I seem to recall you being a little less than supportive of Simon's Resilience Education Initiative. In fact, as far as I understand it, you threatened to cancel the whole thing on more than one occasion. Robert, I'm not sure that oh. this is the time of... <laughs> Robert, Simon, so now I really do know what is discussed over Sunday lunch. Thank you for your loyalty, Simon. Christy! No, I'm gonna leave you two to your mutual appreciation society. Some of us have a school to run. What the hell was that about? Oh, that felt good. You can't possibly think you've done us any favours at all in there. Us? There isn't really an us in your world, is there, Simon? Your initiatives, your promotion, your career. It must be so tedious when the children and the school come between you and your five-year plan. No, that is not fair. I've done everything I can to stand by you. Yeah, it's no secret that I want to be a head teacher, but that doesn't mean to say I want your job. Is that what you tell yourself? Is that what you tell yourself so you can sleep at night? No, no. You get back in there and you explain to them that you haven't been well and apologise. Everyone has an off day, Christine. They'll understand. This isn't an off day, Simon. This is an on day. This is the first time in ages I have had anything resembling clarity. So there will be no apology. I'm not playing the game anymore. It's yours. The job, the big office, you are welcome to it. I am done. Hey, you don't mean that. Don't I? No. Simon, I'd like to talk to you. Yeah, run along, Simon. You may be determined to ruin your own career, but I will not let you drag him down with you. Oh, don't worry. After today, Golden Boy can do what he likes with this place. I quit. Christine! Let her go. 